Hello! Now we'll see a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to set up data structures for your app. This data structure is going to be the foundation on which the rest of your app functionality will be built. For example, if you are building a CRM app, you will need to manage data for different customers and products that you offer. You can think of data collections over here as spreadsheets. For example, in our CRM, we'll have two data collections for products and customers, and then within those spreadsheets, we'll have different columns for email, name, phone number, which are actually the fields in our data collection. Now let's set up this data structures in Fusion. For this, go to the Edit section of your app and create a new collection for customers. Within the data collection, you can add multiple fields with different data types. For example, we will create a name field with text type, phone number with number type, address with text area, and a text field for requirement and sales rep. Similarly, let's create a collection for products. Here we'll add product name with text type, product image with file type, product category with select type, which can be used as a dropdown. Then we can configure the options for this dropdown field. Our basic data structure is now ready. As your app evolves over time, you may need to change the data structure, and you can easily do that on Fusion. You can easily add new collections or data fields, or remove the ones that you don't need. Furthermore, the data structure that you set up here is not restrictive in any way. You can always change the data fields and their types while you are creating the UI pages for your SaaS app. For example, we have a sales rep field in the customer's collection, added as a text field. But when using this field in the customer creation form, we may need to change to a drop-down list of all the app users so that we can select a sales rep when creating a customer. This can be easily done by going to the Advanced Settings. Here, we'll change the field type from Text to Select. And for the drop-down options, we will select App Team Members. Now we can see that the text field is changed to a drop-down which displays all your team members. So you can see how flexible your app database is and how easily you can play with it on Fusion. Now that you know how to set up the data structure of your app, in the next videos we will explore how you can create the UI pages.